Thank you very much, Stu, and hello, everyone, and welcome to this EchoHell webinar series. Usually, we don't have to do this, but today's webinar does come with a warning, as the products and content you're about to see are so freakishly amazing, there's a high chance it's going to blow your socks off. So hold on tight as we bring you today's product news on how with EchoHell, we will be enabling you to have supercharged Wi-Fi designs. So, hey, Mac, why don't you do a quick round of introductions? Oh, I, I also remember my first time being on a Zoom webinar where I didn't have to take myself off mute. <laughs> That's what happens when you are muted in three places. I have no socks already, just in case, because I will drop them like very, very soon after we go through the product release. So, as always, it's Matt and me. Uh, we work in marketing, well, techie marketing, joined by Stu, wireless Stu, you know us very well. But the stars of the show today are the product team, Mika, Vladi, and Ari. Guys, how are you doing today? Awesome. Super excited. We are so excited about today's things. Uh, so fun. Losing the socks. <laughs> uh, do you have your socks or, or, or not? Because like you don't have shoes in your office. You are sitting in socks, right? So do you have them on? Socks. Of course. Yep. Uh, Ooh. Perfect. Green socks. That's very trendy, Miko. Well done. Always. Right. You know, you're not uh, in front of, behind a green screen because you got green socks on. Okay, green socks. <laughs> <laughs> we we can turn them red later. Okay, so that was the quick introduction. And now let's quickly discuss, like I won't spend too much time on it because it's very obvious. Wi-Fi is the most important thing in the world, okay? It's not your health. It's not your family. It's not your finances. It's Wi-Fi, of course. So if you lose Wi-Fi, then you've lost everything. The world stops working. Wi-Fi is getting very close, close to $5 trillion. And if you ask IT professionals around the world, what do they think about their Wi-Fi? 75% of them, they will say that Wi-Fi needs improvement, that they spend a lot of time troubleshooting Wi-Fi, that there is something that they, they need to do or that needs to be done to the Wi-Fi, making sure that it's absolutely spot on. So we are here to, to help you with your Wi-Fi and it's not just the design, but also the optimization and securing your Wi-Fi. So I will let Matthew talk all about, all about that. Thanks, Mac. And we have thousands of you here with us today and lots of new people joining EchoHow webinar for the first time. And if you're wondering what is EchoHow all about, so we help you with designing new Wi-Fi networks. But not only that, Mac just told you how important Wi-Fi is to everybody. So we help you all the way from day two of your Wi-Fi network through to year five. We have to keep the Wi-Fi networks high performing. That means constant optimizations, checking the environment for things that could be causing us issues. And we've also recently launched a product called Optimizer, that means it can help you find those issues automatically and resolve them, making it easier than ever to have a great performing Wi-Fi network. And one of those th stats on the page before that Mac was showing you is how much a data breach can cost a company. So we are really trying to help you as well have secure Wi-Fi, not just a great Wi-Fi design, easily collect survey data, optimize Wi-Fi network, but we want you to have a secure Wi-Fi network too. And with that, Miko, how do we get that data that you need for achieving the world's highest performing networks? Very good. Let me answer that. So if you want great Wi-Fi, of course, we are going to need a Cow Sidekick 2. So the Sidekick 2 provides the highest level of performance out of our 2.4, 5, and 6 gig networks. It has four enterprise grade tri-band radius, which means you can capture enormous amounts of data without without you needing to worry about, about your movement, movement speed. And with the nine professional designed custom 3D wideband antennas, it is the most precise Wi-Fi testing and measurement device providing absolutely unbeatable accuracy. And in, in addition, Sidekick is the only device with integrated spectrum analyzer, allowing you to capture wireless interference events, perhaps negatively impacting your Wi-Fi network performance. And lastly, all this greatness is combined with the largest battery allowed on commercial airlines, providing you all day battery life. We've lost Matthew. No. I remember our first time using Zoom. <laughs> I, did, look, I, did, I, I didn't want you to feel embarrassed by yourself. So I thought, you know, if I do it too, you know, we can be on the same level. So at Echo we are always 
committed to bringing you the fastest path to awesome Wi-Fi. And Ari, you must be feeling like a proud dad or grandfather at the moment because Psychic 2 is just about to turn two, right? Absolutely. Not not yet, not quite yet, but soon during the summer, you know, months. It's going to be two years already. Yeah. One or two months? Hmm? One or two months? Two months? Yeah. So the Psychic 2, we have made it easier than ever to collect Wi-Fi data with our Psychic 2. It was a giant leap forward in accuracy and the world's first and still the best tri-band measurement device for 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz networks. So when you use your Sidekick to capture Wi-Fi survey data today to improve your network, to fix, optimize your Wi-Fi, you don't need to have PhD in Wi-Fi anymore. Well, you can, but it's no longer required because you can use Ekahau Optimizer that parses through the survey data and gives you exact recommendations about how to fix your Wi-Fi, optimize it so it's at its best. And we know sometimes you need to do advanced troubleshooting and analyzing wireless captures. And we have made it easier than ever with the power of the Sidekick 2 and our analyzer application. You can now do packet captures on four channels simultaneously at the same time with also on 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz, giving you immediate analysis and diagnosis of complex network issues. Okay, and this is one of my favorite things. So try to imagine you have a massive office, massive warehouse, a massive environment with hundreds of access points, and the whatever dashboard you're using to manage your Wi-Fi, you probably would like to have a map with the exact location of the access points on that map. And prior to, to this, to the vendor integration, to the zero touch provisioning, as we call it, you had to manually drag and drop all these access points from the list onto the map. So you have Excel on one side, and then you have your dashboard on the other side or other screen, and it takes you forever. It takes you so much time that I've left my previous em employment before I finished dragging and dropping 4,000 APs, okay? So now you don't have to do it anymore. All you need to have is the API connection to the dashboard of your choice. Yeah, I uh, I feel bad for the person that had to pick that up for you, Mac. A big fan favorite as well is our new Just Go survey mode. Leveraging the power of the Apple AR kit and LiDAR, you can now collect super accurate survey data with your Psychic 2 without the need or requirement for a floor plan. Simply connect your device to the Psychic and then you can walk. And as you're walking around the environment, the iPhone or iPad is going to build the floor plan for you, not requiring you to set a scale or your location. I don't know if you've had the chance to try this yet, but oh my goodness, it is so much fun and probably my favorite way to collect Wi-Fi survey data now. Just go is totally the way to go, but this is not everything. It doesn't matter how well designed or how well surveyed or optimized your Wi-Fi is for as long as it's not secure. So we are quite heavily investing into security fields to make sure that you secure your Wi-Fi if it's a new design or if it's an existing Wi-Fi, we don't care. We want you to have a secure environment. So using our survey tool with Echo Sidekick 2, you walk around and we show you the impact of your RF interferers. We identify those RF interferers on the map. Uh, we show you the impact of your AP interfering APs, rogue APs, and also highlight the weak encryption and misconfigurations in your Wi-Fi network. And that brings us to today. All this powered by the powerfully easy to use Psychic 2. So let me bring in Ari, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about this amazing device. Thanks, Matt. I'm so excited about the things we are, you know, talking about today. But first, let me actually remind of a couple of things. Uh, believe me or not, even commercial Wi-Fi devices are sometimes behaving badly. I'm so proud of, of Sidekick 2's uh, reliability and, and electromagnetic compatibility. We have seen other devices having really, really strange unwanted RF leakages, destroying the sensitivity of them and causing interference to the whole network. You can trust always the quality of your sidekick in all conditions. But more importantly, you can easily reveal if any other devices around you are behaving badly. Second, sidekick is designed and proven for safety. Especially with lithium ion batteries, things just must work safely in all conditions. In sidekick 2, we have multiple protections against risks, which are also rigorously tested. Next, we are shipping the device globally every day. It's so much more than just stamping with FCC and CE logo. We really stand behind the needed compliance requirements, testing and reporting. Lastly, we are proud of our proprietary technology. 
Several key patents ensure that we are staying ahead of line when it comes to improved functionality, accuracy, and speed. Yeah. Hey, Ari, just looking at this picture then from, this is the spectrum captured with the Psyche 2 in, in Echohel AI Pro. And this, I don't know if everyone can see my cursor or not, but this like red nasty noise that we're seeing here and all of this in the waterfall view, we shouldn't see that when you bring a device near the Psyche 2 technically, should we? No, we shouldn't. That's that's a great example of a device, Wi-Fi device, uh, that is actually leaking. It, it has a poor design and it's it's leaking all the way through the whole 2.4 gigahertz, and we are able to kind of capture all that leakage, uh, you know, with the with the Sidekick. So that's a good example of where Sidekick really kicks in and show how some other devices are maybe behaving badly. Great, thanks, Ari. Now, not long time ago, we actually asked you customers if spectrum analysis is important and pretty much everybody confirmed it is. Two thirds of you even said that it's extremely important for your service. That's so cool to hear. Personally, I could actually spend hours, you know, celebrating on our super speed and, and resolution. But remember, we are not just talking about those super fast color effects on the screen. There is so much more. Sidekick 2 is the only Wi-Fi measurement solution that calculates the true signal-to-noise ratio and understands which data rate your client devices can achieve. Uh, channel utilization is another problem area slowing down Wi-Fi, which we can easily quantify by measuring the energy on RF spectrum level. Again, Sidekick is the only solution out there. And without saying, it goes that uh, Sidekick visualizes all those non-Wi-Fi transmissions, emissions, and interferences. Also, so what bad behavior. basically, that the Sidekick Spectrum Analyzer is required to identify all the RF, to understand what's happening in your environment, not only while you are troubleshooting or optimizing your Wi-Fi, but also before you even start designing it. And that is why not having a Spectrum Analyzer in your device is like shot, shooting in the dark, pretty much. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And last, remember, we integrate Spectrum to the Wi-Fi measurements with the patented proprietary solution. Without that, Spectrum analysis would be just an external add-on. And who would go back to those? Matt and Mac, would you? Personally, I can't tell you how happy I am when the Psychic and Psychic 2 came out. The fact that I no longer needed to have dongles purely for the fact Without fail, when I was completing Wi-Fi surveys using dongles, I would always have someone make a silly remark or a funny comment like, oh, are you collecting Pokemon? Are you ghost busting? Or what's one of your favorite ones, Mac? Is it something about scanning credit cards? I don't know. But since we've moved to the days of the Psychic and Psychic 2, those comments are gone because you just look like anybody else just walking around with your mobile device. So I owe you a big thank you for that, Ari. No worries. Hey, ultimately, let me remind you, this is the most important part. Sidekick 2 is the most accurate measurement device in all the dimensions. You may have seen these graphs earlier. This is how amazing antenna pattern Sidekick has, as seen from the top. They show how omnidirectional Sidekick is. Perfectly rounded circle is where, where, we, where we want to be. Access point measurements are independent from the walking direction. There is nothing on the market we've seen performing this great. And moving on to the another graph, when we repeat the measurements on all Wi-Fi channels while rotating the device around, we get the precision over frequency range. Variation between strongest and weakest signals uh, is within plus or minus few dBs. Sidekick precision is, is amazing. And this brings us to another aspect, high trueness. More sensitive your device is, the higher the graph is. What we really want is that when we measure, when we measure the truth. The signal like it really is. Again, based on what we've seen, Sidekick measurements are very close to truth on all channels. And there's a good reason for that, why Sidekick is so great. We have antennas that are custom designed for the purpose. They're placed carefully and not at all accidentally how they are. They are tuned for those locations. And finally, they are tested at the factory. Speaking of factory and consistency, it's not just one device that is behaving you know, great. We make sure that every single unit we manufacture compile with our requirements. And here you can see a snap snapshot of the product line data to show how all our devices are similar. As the customer, you really can count on the sidekick being your source of truth. 
And I just want to emphasize on how important that is. I can't tell you the countless times Mac and I have worked on a large project together, working on the same project file, each with our own Psychic 2. Why is it important then that the Psychic 2s are super accurate and consistent between devices? Because try to imagine if I was doing a survey with a device and Mac was doing a survey with a device, and then you was looking at the data and the data wasn't the same. Whose device do you trust? And we've done lots of large scale projects where you collaborate with multiple members of your team on the same project. So it's really key and fundamental that the Psychic 2s or your measurement devices are accurate and they are consistent between devices. Now, you guys might ask, actually, why does all this matter? <laughs> Let me tell you, much more than ever. Sidekick 2 delivers you the perfect picture of how your Wi-Fi looks like in every footstep of your site. But that's not enough. In order to simulate potential network changes, you also need to have some knowledge of your RF environment. Lucky you, because Sidekick 2 data is so accurate and, and comprehensive. It enables you to measure also the obstacles and signal barriers in your environment without you doing anything other than just survey. And it doesn't mean just walls, but also cubicles, cabinets, closets, tables, warehouse shelves, even factory machines. It takes into account even reflections and diffractions, all those things which have been tricky to model traditionally. Sidekick 2, with modern AI machine learning based approach, not just measures the radio signals perfectly, but it also quantifies your whole RF environment fast and super precisely. And guys, this actually takes us to the whole new level in easiness and accuracy. Are you guys ready to see more? I know I am, but I feel like maybe we need to have a bit of a drum roll before this. So... Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> all right. So thanks to all the Sidekick 2 greatness today, we are super excited to announce the Ekahau AI Pro Online. The AI Pro Online delivers lightning fast and ultra accurate Wi Fi designs powered by the precise measurements from Sidekick 2. This real measurement data combined with our AI machine learning propagator makes high performing Wi Fi designs extremely accurate, easy, and maybe most importantly, extremely fun to create. You can quickly and easily go from an on-site survey to an optimized high-performing design in just a few seconds. There is no wall drawing required. Our engine will know where you have the walls and how much they are actually impacting on your network. Therefore, you can just completely skip it and simply use survey data to plan any network designs, upgrades, or access point changes. And naturally, as a modern, modern browser-based application utilizing the latest web technologies. The AI Pro Online is sliding fast, allowing you to see instant network visualizations and simulate any kind of network changes in pure real time. I mean, Miko, Vlad, Ari, I'm not sure if you can see the chat, but it is lighting up right now. People are super excited to see this. So before we give you a few demos and previews of this new awesome product, let's just think about how this revolutionizes the workflow to have awesome Wi-Fi. We know there's most environments that you go to is already going to have a Wi-Fi network and you're going to collect that data with a Psychic 2. So you walk that site with the Psychic 2, you have super accurate data, then if you need to have it optimized, you run it through our Ekahal optimizer that automatically analyzes your network against your requirements and gives you specific recommendations on how you can improve the network simply just on radio configuration changes and changes to the way you've configured your SSIDs. But now picture this, you've gone through the optimizations and you still have parts of your network that's still not performing. Perhaps you've had some changes in the environment, some physical walls have been moved, or perhaps, you know, there's been some racking layouts in your warehouses that have changed, or it's just simply time for a new Wi-Fi network. Maybe you need to upgrade those access points. You can now leverage Ekahal AI Pro Online. In seconds, you can see changing your RF design, moving access points, adding new APs without the need to draw walls or anything like that. It is super freaking cool. And we have never been more excited to bring you a brand new product. So Mac, why don't we actually talk through a great use case that we recently had exactly for this purpose? Absolutely. Just let me repeat what Matthew just said. You have your survey data captured with Sidekick 2 on anything. It can be your phone, tablet, computer, doesn't matter. Sidekick does the heavy lifting. 
you have your survey data and then you use that data to either optimize your existing network or design, redesign, modify your, your, your network. So optimizations plus designs are off the survey data, no more walls. So guys, this is, this is huge. I'm not sure it's like if we are giving you enough energy to emphasize how huge this freaking thing is. This is massive. Okay. So, okay, now we can continue. So uh, Ari was talking about the awesome accuracy of a Sidekick 2, and it is in fact the most accurate measurement device on the market that measures Wi-Fi, non-Wi-Fi, like, you know, all the free frequency bands plus spec and plus all the bells and whistles, custom-made antennas. It's, it's awesome. So now you can you can use this data to 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 do this. So what we've done, uh, we we approached a massive building in Helsinki that had some issues with, with Wi-Fi. And instead of just walking around by one person, I almost had a heart attack when I heard, oh, Mark, you're going to Helsinki to survey this office. I saw the floor plans and yes, it would have taken me, I don't know, three days, four days, walking around continuously. And you don't need to do it since all the sidekicks that are pretty much the same, we had our entire team and that's the team. So we could we could divide and conquer and walk around and capture the survey data. Uh, watch this animation again. Do we have to? Yeah. Uh, okay. Have you have you seen it? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, hopefully by now Miko knows what direction you're supposed to go in from a high five. But who knows? But coming you're a back. Far, never mind. <laughs> But yeah, coming back to the importance of the accuracy of the Psychic 2s and the, and the consistency between devices, we had six teammates all surveying the same project file at the same time, which got automatically merged back together. We had, didn't have to do anything, but the data was consistent and the same between devices. So that meant that we could divide and conquer such a huge uh, project for us to go and survey. And then, you know, like to analyze seven floors of multiple different heat maps and access point locations and configurations that would have taken us quite some time to do that. So instead, Mac, what did we do? We just asked the Ekaha optimizer. So all you do is just to you upload the project to the cloud. If you use your mobile device, it's already in the cloud. You open it up in the cloud and then you see, you see this. You see your existing state of things. You can see like, all different visualizations. Matthew will talk us through through them in a second. But you can see, like, if you fix your network, just reconfiguration or redesign of your network, you will see how it can look once it's fixed. So what can we fix, Matt? Exactly. There's so many things Optimizer can help us achieve in improving our coverage, channel widths, configuration, best practices for security and SSIDs. But naturally, there might become a point where logically the next step is going to be to add some additional access points or relocate some additional access points to fix those kind of coverage or issues that we're having. So I don't know about you. I think the audience is very excited. Vlad, shall we uh, shall we give them a demo of the, the new AI Pro online? Yeah, <laughs> I think Vlad is overexcited and he probably missed your question there. <laughs> so guys, just to like repeat it very quickly, we are going to show you the results of our survey in this massive building where we have some coverage gaps that we couldn't fix with just reconfiguring a network and we will resolve it in Ekahau AI Pro Online. All right, so let's see what do we mean in practice. Here I have a multi-floor building, a plan open in AI Pro. So this is our current application. Many of, of you are probably familiar with it. And here we have conducted a pretty extensive survey and detected a quite large coverage gap here at the bottom right corner on 5 gigahertz. So what do we do about it? Maybe we can try to simulate uh, moving this AP uh, if it helps. So let's see, uh, does it work? And when I move the AP, the heat map didn't change. And that's, although it's super accurate, the heat maps in AI Pro for measured APs are static and the AP markers are just indications where the APs are located. So the heat maps do not change with moving measured APs. How about we try adding a new AP in some room here? So let's uh, select AP tool and place an AP here in the middle of this room. Let's see what happens. And here you can see that the heat map has changed. So everything is well, but is it realistic? Let's see. Let's select this AP and it seems like it is enough to cover the whole 
building floor, which is, well, not very realistic, is it? That is because it doesn't know anything about the environment. So what do we need to do is that we go to the wall tool and start drawing some walls, right? We need to draw some walls so the heat maps are uh, actually representing how the signal will behave. And now you can see that now uh, it's more realistic, so that's the, how the signal will behave. And I would need to go and draw all the walls on this floor and other floors, maybe some attenuation object, and it will take me hours, if not days. Maybe you don't have time to watch me doing that. So what is the new thing we are offering? And the main value is that when we now jump to AI Pro Online, you see that here I have exactly the same project open, same coverage gap is visible here. But now, check this out. I select an access point, I start moving it, and wow, the heat maps are moving, and they know where the walls are. I haven't drawn a single wall, but the signal kind of knows how to behave in this environment without any wall drawing. How awesome is that, right? So I can simulate moving access point to this room I was showing in AI Pro, right? And I know how the signal will change if I do this uh, change here, right? Okay, let's maybe reset this uh, access point back to its place. Well, oh, here it goes. And now let's try adding a completely new AP. Let's go to the AP tool. Maybe we should use some uh, Cisco uh, Meraki access point as well here. Let's put it in the middle of this room. And hey, look at it. Well, let's try maybe moving around this access point. And you can see that also this newly placed additional access point knows how the environment behaves without any wall drawing. Let's maybe move it along this corridor and admire how the heat maps are changing with the with the changing environment, you see? So what this means is that you can simulate any change to your network. For example, let's uh, change maybe TX power for this access point. Let's, let's increase uh, from 14 to, I, I don't know, maybe 20. Let's put it like that. And you can see that immediately, uh, you can see the effect on the, on the heat map. So you can simulate any changes to your environment without a second spend on wall drawing. And those will be accurate and precise. And that is due to the Sidekick 2 measurements, uh, which actually help us generate AI-based environment based on those Sidekick 2 measurements. That's how the AI Pro Online is able to do this. Pretty neat, right? I hope you will like it. Vlad, that was freaking awesome, my friend. Everybody is losing their minds in the chat with AI Pro online. I simply want to cry nice from to hear. <laughs> Nice to hear that. Yeah. I'm also very excited, so. <laughs> you look really excited. <laughs> <laughs> we, will be, we have been building this for at least six months, right? <laughs> Maybe a little bit longer now, I hope. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. It has been more. But yeah, well done. This is absolutely smashing. So what we have seen is how to use the new freaking tool, the instantaneous updating visualizations online tool to resolve some coverage gaps. But you can resolve many more things using that tool. And no walls, just Eka How Sidekick 2 measured survey data. This is awesome, guys. This is like, I personally... I'm so excited about it. This is something that I wanted to have for the last 15 years. Okay, I was waiting for it. And finally, we have it. It's absolutely awesome. So that was, that was great to see how to use the survey data. But a question that you might have in your minds is how accurate is this data? How reliable is the measured data when you start thinking about your coverage holes, designing, redesigning, modifying your network using survey data? So can you guys... Talk us through the accuracy. Yeah, I mean, Ari, just before you talk about the accuracy, I mean, this is some crazy magic. I thought I would never be more impressed about Max magic trick when it comes to buying the next round and he somehow disappears. But this new AI Pro Online has topped that for me. So congrats and well done. But yeah, Ari, we trust you with our lives. How accurate, though, is this new method? 
Yeah, ho hold on, Matt. Actually, before before we run into accuracy details, let me explain a bit more what you just saw. So our leading uh, scientists and engineers have worked really hard for some time, more than six months, than then Vlad is said, <laughs> with, with this revolutionary echo technology. And uh, this is how it actually works. So like, like I said earlier, we are using super accurate uh, sidekick measurements combined with tons of other data that we collect during the surveys. We are injecting all that into a modern AI machine learning pipeline together with some physics and Ekahun domain knowledge. All of this builds up an AI model of your environment. Then using that model, we are able to do any simulations of any network changes in real time. And oh boy, it's a great quality simulation. And by the way, one very, very important note to make, we use your data only for building your own environment. We never use your data to train any other customer models. So uh, when we started working on this, we quickly learned that new, new AI-based approach is not just faster, but it also is more accurate than anything else seen before. Here on the left, we compare a few example projects and calculate the heat map accuracy. It actually is a mean error in decibels between the simulated and measured coverage heat map. Uh, the higher the bar is, the less accurate the simulation is. So you can clearly see how there is a big variation in traditional simulations uh, with user-drawn walls. Uh, your, uh, some projects are doing okay, but some are very bad. And this is logical. The quality of the manual work affects a lot. Sometimes designers have paid more attention to the modeling and sometimes less, especially warehouses seem to be tricky ones. And now we actually ran this analysis for hundreds of different environments and projects. On the right side, you are seeing a whole error distribution from real projects we analyzed. The variance between projects is big. Now as a comparison, Sidekick 2 with AI-based propagation performs excellent. First of all, the average error becomes significantly less, but also the variance between projects becomes much smaller. And that means new AI Pro Online delivers higher quality simulations, no matter how complex environment you have. And remember, it was also so much faster to use as no manual steps are involved. Yeah, this is just mind blowing how much more accurate that is. And when we were talking about this earlier, you made it really easy for me to understand the reason behind this is because when we as humans, you draw the walls for our, our environments, naturally, there's so many different walls, especially if you've got a massive building or a huge like multi-story building. Sometimes you're going to draw like the same type of wall throughout the building and thinking it's going to have the same attenuation value where realistically, that's just not the case. There could be bookshelves, there could be piping, there could be something else in some of those walls that affect the attenuation values. So we're using this new method of psychic to measure data and our AI Pro Online AL ML propagator. That's how it makes it super accurate because it looks at all of the data and then works it out for you automatically. Is that right, Ari? That's precisely the case. So no more uh, need for, for user actually to figure out that what are the walls really, you know, and, and have I really understood the walls? What are the attenuation values there? And then, you know, what should they be? And then, you know, do I understand the environment correctly? The actual truth lies in the sidekick data. So we collect massive number, massive amount of data, and then we just give it as a job for uh, machine learning to, 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 to tell that what the environment is. And it seems to be working really, really nice. And a very hey. simple explanation on how it works. Basically, if you have a Wi-Fi signal in your premises and you have a wall, a warehouse rack, anything that at any ways reflects, diffracts the signal, you walk on both sides with your sidekick anyway. And then we use the very, very high accuracy measurements on both sides in multiple data points. And then we use the ML and AI, I know fancy terms, but that's what we do to then calculate uh, the uh, physical attributes of the specific wall segment. So you don't need to, sp you don't care if it's a drywall or a concrete wall, what you care about is what this wall does to your RF signal propagation. And that's what we calculate. And that's, uh, that's how we create the 3D model of the building more accurately than us specifying the walls manually. Yeah. And and I can see so many questions coming in on the chat and in the Q&A, and we're going to try and answer a couple of them now. People are asking, does this work with older surveys and can we use this to design new networks? Well, 
the example that, that Vlad gave you that demo of earlier, we actually collected that survey data back in September of 2023. So if you have survey data collected with our Psychic 2, you can use that in Echo AI Pro online to be able to simulate and see exactly what you just saw. And that was a very good question that someone brought up as saying, can you use this method to design new networks? And that's a great question, I think, isn't it, Mac? Maybe can we? perhaps we should. So we have yeah. seen we have seen uh, how we uh, fill in the gaps based on you know lack of RSSI using Psychic Two as a measurement device. Now the question is, can we fully redesign new networks using measured survey data? Let's take a look, Vlad. In addition to that, what if I were to uh, design a completely new network based on my measured data? Can I do that? Let's see. So let me just take all the devices on this floor. Here they are, right? Let's remove them all, right? I just delete them. And you can now see there are only ghosts of my uh, measured APs left on the floor plan. So can I now start uh, designing a completely new clean slate design? Let's try it out. So let's select AP tool and I just start designing. Let's put some APs here. Here I'm not uh, really doing a proper design maybe, but I'm just demonstrating you how easy it is to like use this tool. So you just uh, play around, you place APs where you think that they are necessary and immediately you can see the effect, right? So you can do also a clean slate design based on your survey data. And again, without any wall drawing or attenuation objects uh, drawing, any wall calibrations, etc. It all has been done for you, right? So the AI environment, which was generated based on Sidekick 2 measurements, has done all the heavy lifting uh, for generating this environment. You see when I move uh, access point across this wall, it reacts immediately and super fast. So this is it. So you can do both uh, clean slate design or upgrade design for your network with a single tool using AI Pro Online. It is freaking awesome. So now we've removed all the access points and started a new design. You can place your APs wherever you want. You can move the existing APs around. You can add new access points. You can have a mixture of both, whatever pleases you, whatever is applicable to your redesign situation. So we are using Eka House Sidekick to measure survey data to do a brand new design without drawing any walls. So you have your survey data, it takes you seconds or minutes instead of hours or days. The walls, they were yeah. probably the most time consuming thing in all the Wi-Fi design activities, I would say, and it's gone. Oh. I have to agree with you, Mac. Time consuming and also can be inaccurate, which then leads to your designs or optimizations not being accurate as well. Um, I know that uh, we get this question a lot, Mac, when we used to work doing professional services back in those days um, about getting a question can when we was working on a wi-fi project for someone and let's say that they had older access points maybe they have like wi-fi 4 or wi-fi 5 access points and um they're due for a wi-fi life cycle upgrade they want to take down the existing ap's in their exact locations and they want to swap them for the brand new shiny wi-fi 6 wi-fi 7 capable access points and keep the existing locations and just because they're new access points that should work and make the wi-fi work really well right exactly so now We've been in this situation so many times when our client is asking us, can we just take our old access points down and put the new Wi-Fi 6 e or Wi-Fi 7 APs in the ceiling? How is it going to, to work? Is it going to fix our issues? Is it going to add more capacity? Is it going to fix the coverage? Is it going to fix my roaming issues? And instead of just trying it and then experiencing a very expensive mistake because you then have to take them down, you have to redesign, you can see if it's going to work or not in a rip and replace scenario. So Vlad, back to you again. Let's take a look at rip and replace. Okay, let's see another example. So here we have inherited a network and we didn't design this network. We see that it has some APs uh, that are of older technology. So they are broadcasting only on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And also they have some design flaws, uh, which are not according to our best practices. So for example, this 
APs here are placed in hallways. And according to our best practices, we should place them into rooms instead of being in hallways. So what we want to uh, do here, we want to simulate a rip and replace scenario where we upgrade our APs to a newer technology, which is six gigahertz capable, and also fix these design flaws by moving some APs into rooms. And can we do it in AI Pro Online easily? For sure. Just select your current APs and select a replacement model for them. So here we can use the Aruba uh, 6 gigahertz capable uh, uh, access point. Maybe we can use this 635 AP model. And let's see what happens to the heat maps when, when we use this model. What will happen? Uh, so here you can see the APs are updated. So let's see. Uh, do we have coverage here? And sure, it looks pretty good. And of course, we are interested to see the 6 gigahertz band. Uh, and you can see that the coverage is pretty good uh, with just this rip and replace action. But we also wanted to fix this uh, issue with AP placement. So we can pretty easily just grab an AP and drag it into room and see if that will still fulfill our uh, coverage requirements, right? So let's zoom up a bit. And you can see that this uh, change that we made by moving the APs slightly will be uh, okay. So no problems uh, to coverage at least will occur. So this change we probably should also do when upgrading our network. So. But uh, we wouldn't be Ekahau if we didn't have some fancy uh, automation tooling here. So what we want to do also is to verify that all our configuration are correct. And here we have a new AR Auto Planner available as well. And what it can do for you, it can optimize your channels, TX power, bandwidth, and turn any uh, unnecessary radios off. And it can also uh, place any additional APs. For example, we use the Aruba uh, model here. So uh, maybe we should choose the same here. So uh, if there is some coverage gap that cannot be covered by just configuring existing APs, uh, AI Auto Planner will add those uh, APs for you into suitable locations. Or we can do everything at once and just click Resolve All. So let's try to do that. Let's see what happens. So currently, we are, uh, the AI Auto Planner is analyzing the environment and uh, figuring out if um, things can be resolved just with configurations or whether new APs need to be placed. And after a while, uh, you can see that it's done its thing, so to say. And uh, you see that some radios have been turned off on 2.4 and also the channels have been optimized. So with very uh, few clicks, you can simulate rip and replace scenario and also optimize your networks to uh, get the optimal configurations when you are actually deploying these changes. Pretty neat, right? Super neat. Yeah, as, as you can uh, can see from the demos, you can pretty much uh, simulate any upgrade scenario for your Wi-Fi network. Uh, just make sure you have your Sidekick 2 and a good quality survey, and the upgrade planning is lightning fast. Yeah, I mean, we've been at a lot of events events recently, Mac and I and Stu, and, and we probably get this question multiple times a day, is that being able to... Being able to visualize this network upgrade, I know we had a feature in the AI Pro desktop version with the network simulator that you could swap out APs for new model access points in their existing locations. But this takes it to a whole nother level because you can do that and then you can account for changes easily by maybe you need to relocate a couple of access points or add in a few additional access points because we know the modern day way that Wi-Fi is expected to work is different to how it was three, four, five, six years ago. So this is super fast and amazing for me to do that, Vlad. And would, lots of is it is it correct if I call it like the AI auto planner on steroids or like AI assistant planner? You can drop or use any of the existing or new access points, and then you can use the the planning thing 
automatic planning tool to fill in the blanks. You can drop your directional antennas in a warehouse plan, and then you can fill in the blanks in like the office. Absolutely. Area. All those things, all those things you can do. Vlad, a lot of people are asking, when are they going to be able to get their hands on AI Pro Online? Yeah, I think it's a natural question. I saw it also blinging in chat quite uh, many times. So I, I don't know, should we dr dr put some drums on? But I'm basically thrilled to say that uh, it's coming very soon, to be precise, in June. And not Ooh. 26, not 25, but this year. So okay. very, very soon. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and another thing people were asking the question, but I don't know if we mentioned this, it's completely free for all Connect subscribers. So if you have a current Echo Connect subscription, you don't have to pay any more to access AI Pro Online. You will get access to this uh, completely included in your package. Like Vlad said, all this is going to require you to have Psychic 2 data and you don't need to do a new survey. You could have a survey done from almost nearly two years ago now. Remember, Ari, proud father, grandfather of Psychic 2, nearly two in, in July. But I mean, Wow, this this has been a fantastic webinar. That must be it. Oh, actually, no, wait. I think I think there's more, right, Vlad? There is always more, as you know. And uh, I must say, this is the very first step for AI Pro Online. And uh, I, I know many of you are expecting to see the traditional AI Pro use cases and similar functionality. And I also can comfort you by saying that it's also coming very soon. So uh, we will be including the traditional map import with CAD support and support for uh, many other features like uh, drawing attenuation objects, multi-floor and building modeling and completely new automation tooling as well. So just bear with us. All of these great things are coming your way. But I'll keep but... repeating. <laughs> there's but, always spot there's, but always there's spot. more and i i cannot wait to see the chat light up now oh yes oh yes so we already have much more in the oven baking for you so so there will be uh support for slope surfaces design uh for more complex environments like stadiums we will have a 3d view and uh inspect mode for better perception of the environment we will also have multi-map view to allow for easier inspection of multiple floors at once. And we are just warming up here. There are more, much more smaller and bigger things coming your way. So stay tuned. But I must repeat, and as always, your feedback is essential for us. So basically, we are prioritizing the things we do according to your feedback. So please keep feeding us that, and we greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the chat is quite hard to keep up with now. I mean, my goodness, there has been so much amazing content this webinar. Um, and we want to say a bit of a thank you for everybody joining us. We're actually giving away 25 of our Ekahau hats. Not only that, I think Ari and Miko, you might have something else you might be giving away to a few people as well, some lucky winners. So if you want to enter, simply go onto Twitter, X, LinkedIn, whatever, tag Ekahau, use the hashtag AI Pro Online and tell us what feature you're most excited about and why, or you can just scan that QR code. But what's the other things that you've got to give away, yeah, yeah, Ari? Ari? What was that? So we're yeah. from Nokia, from Finland. Finland is famous for Nokia. Nokia is famous for having these colored... Socks. Covers, yeah. Psychic covers. So, <laughs> of course, in colors. So, we are giving out those color, color, you know, SK2 uh, covers. So, uh... Yeah, so if you don't know what we're talking about, the Psychic 2, this is my one here. I, I'm, I'm probably sure no one would have guessed I would have liked black on black for my Psychic 2. Normally, uh, it comes with a grey face, face plate, but you are going to be able to get access to some nice multi-colored face plates. Mac, you say something so you can come on the camera and show them yours. I have a beautiful burgundy one. That's my sidekick. That's how I like to rock. It looks like an Iron Man a little bit, so I like it a lot. And we have more colors. I have only this black color, but this is still my own personally custom, very custom one. You, you know, this thing ain't smiling. This is badass device, and <laughs> badass is data <they> smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh i am tired after this what a fantastic webinar that has been are, are we finished or is there something else what yeah. more? okay yeah, yeah, got more? More. so guys like i know that you want to like take your sidekick and get it for a walk 
And I know it might have been a little bit too difficult to get your hands onto everything that Egahau had to offer, but it doesn't have to be anymore, right? So we have introduced new licensing and it's a SaaS licensing where maybe you have like a one person in the central office that needs to have access to everything, to a design, to reviewing surveys, optimizing uh, your Wi-Fi reporting and everything. But maybe you also have, or you are a survey engineer that you only need to have access to survey only tools. So you take your phone or your tablet, you connect your sidekick, go on a walk, and then you send it over to your main guy in the main office. So you can still collaborate, but you don't have to buy everything. That's where the Ekaha measure comes in and it's cheap, okay? For everything that we offer survey wise, it's not too expensive. Now you can have a sidekick or two in your location and you might have more people trying to get their, their hands on the sidekick. I can't blame them because the sidekicks are so amazing. Maybe you want to have more sidekicks for more engineers to survey simultaneously in the same geographical location. You might go for Ekaha Measure Plus and for just the price of the hardware, you also have Ekaha Measure, which is survey only license for free included for 12 months. So Miko, super cool Mac, but Miko, what what is the the new thing that's come in? Are are saying to, there's still more? Well, there is. So during the summer, we will be introducing license management features for organizations with multiple licenses. Uh, and the, the so the organizations designated admin user will be able to easily see and manage their organization's licenses. And as, a, as an admin, you will be able to see how many licenses you have in total, how many are in use, and how many are still available, and who is actually using and, and which license. And maybe, perhaps the most importantly, you will be able to reassign your licenses and even remote look out your, your users. Yeah, uh, super, super cool. Uh, a lot of people very happy about this in the chat. And we, we're we not even finished yet. We do have one more thing for you to announce. We know that there are wireless vulnerabilities everywhere. You may be familiar with a recent story about a casino that was unfortunately breached through its wireless enabled uh, aquarium in the casino. You might be thinking, well, I don't have a casino or a wireless fish tank in, in my environment. That's not an issue for me, but we have tons of other types of devices that could be compromised, like Wi-Fi enabled printers, TVs, any kind, of, any kind of wireless device that's connected to your corporate network via a LAN cable, it can potentially be a vulnerability. So we have been making it easier to identify these, especially in our survey app, right, Mac? Exactly. So in a survey application on a mobile device, you will have access to more visualizations showing you the RF interference uh, that may be the microwave or the leaky fluorescent lights or the motion sensors or excessive BLE. You will have all of that shown on the map. And if it's a singular device, you will see the icon of that device on the map. You will see the rogue and interfering access points on the map with their area of impact. And you will also see uh, the misconfigured Wi-Fi networks with no encryption or crap encryption. And you don't want to have that crap encryption. So you will see that all. But you don't have to go to the application to see that. How can you share your security concerns with your execs, for example? Absolutely. So we are uh, enriching optimizer capabilities furthermore. So with just one click, you will be able to get your security report. And that security report will highlight any rogue device that you have in your environment. Uh, it will also show you all the interferers, like interfering devices, you know, like uh, not only microwaves, but also more serious ones like jammers, uh, what, what have you not and also any issues that you might have with your network encryption. So optimizer on steroids, if you will. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. I know Ari, Mika, you want to thank some of the product team for this awesome work, right? Absolutely. So uh, team has been doing great job. Uh, so uh, can't, can't, you know, express my gratitude to everybody in, in Ekahau about this product. Indeed, there's been so many people who have been putting enormous amount of time and effort on all, all, all of this research team, so, or because of the AI and the matching learning models, and even the application development team. Absolutely fantastic job by everyone.
Yeah, and the awesome marketing team putting this all together. Well, Carla said, <laughs> big thank you to you guys and girls. You've done such a great job. But most importantly, you watching us here, all of our amazing Echo customers and soon to be Echo customers, we love you. Thank you so much for joining us on this webinar. We will stay on and, and take a few questions and try and answer some things in, that's come up in the Q&A. But we did also want to call out, we will have strong presence Echo at Cisco Live in Vegas and also HPE Discover Vegas. So if you want to come and see Echo AI Pro Online or any of the other cool things and features that Echo can do, please come and stop by our booths. We'll be delighted to see you in person, give you some demos, just chat and hang out with you. So uh, on that note, let me stop the share because we have got our super psychic stew has come back in the room. And also, I want to call out, there's someone that's been answering questions. You might not know that they're working for Echo Help, but Mike um, is also here. I don't know if he, maybe he wants to run in on camera. He's behind uh, he, He's behind the scenes answering questions in the Q&A, but he's also been a huge part of uh, Echo Help Pro. And then there he is. <laughs> and he's been answering so many of your questions in the Q&A today. Um, so I, I've seen that pop up. Then, uh, okay, so... Stu, any questions we want to answer quickly? Uh, we have just 59 open questions. Uh, just 59. Well, you know, most of them are actually uh, are answered. They've got uh, extra answers in them, so it puts them back in the open. Um, a lot of this is that people are super excited with kind of the visualizations and 3D heights, um, especially um, looking at um, uh, elevation planes and what and slopes. So this is actually a super uh, cool thing. Um, there was a couple of questions in here that we're talking about, um, and I think we mentioned this before, is um, uh, Wi-Fi 7. Are we, are we Wi-Fi 7 ready? Yes. Excellent. There, you've heard it, folks. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your lengthy explanation, Ari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay. no further comments, but yes, we are ready. <laughs> and and so, are, we, are we going to have a DJI SK2 drone? But that uh, was the uh, that was the last one. Depending, 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 don't reveal all the secrets now. I, I know, but I mean, um, if you need it, then we probably will have it. You know. <laughs> yeah. Mac, I saw that you got um, some questions that you wanted to answer live. Oh, yeah, Do you want totally? I just like didn't want to uh, to ask my questions first, but. Let's do it. Uh, we have a question from uh, Hartmut. What is the offset of Sidekick 2 compared to Echo House simulation result based on free space path loss and attenuation calculation for all three bands? Product team, can you answer that question? Measured versus simulated using Sidekick 2. That, uh, that might be a kind of a little bit like a lo longer question to be answered in just in a just you know couple of seconds. You know, basically the, there should be any offset, but but you know, to go through the whole story, I think we need to kind of kind of some sort of deep dive, you know, session, you know, those are coming later. So they will maybe we'll address those in the uh, but guys, like if you want to see the real results of measured versus simulated, we have released a few months ago a an interesting video about warehouse design at L'Oreal and we were doing like a proper simulated design and API on sticks, like, you know, the whole, whole thing. And then we were doing the uh, survey of everything. And then the API on a stick survey results at 2550, 7500 meters away from the access point. They were pretty much identical to the free space app, path loss, uh, reflection, attenuation, everything that we used to, to calculate uh, the RF propagation model. So for as long as your simulated environment is spot on and you either used the Ekahau Sidekick to measurements to create that environment and now you use Ekahau AI Pro Online or like, you know, last week, if you were uh, doing that manually, you were doing the wall calibration using Sidekick to so you were very diligent in Ekahau AI Pro Desk version and either way if your simulated environment is the real reflection of your real world then sidekick 2 should be pretty much the same as free space path loss plus reflections plus diffractions plus attenuation yeah that's correct that's correct that's that's well said so uh, so really what we said you know already uh, during this webinar the thing is that it all depends on kind of traditionally speaking it all depends on how great job the designer has done in, in defining the environment. So for, for those cases where the environment has been designed, it defined you know carefully and well, uh, the simulation has been has been pretty close to the sidekick already in, in the history. But normally in most of the cases, you know, designers are not that successful in that work. And, and our machine learning AI propagation based approach actually beats typical cases, you know, 
so well that you know in the future it will be just so easy to meet the simulations and measurements. Exactly. Thank you. We have a great question actually in the chat, not in Q&A. And Renee is asking, when will AI Pro Online start being part of the Echo How classes? That's a very good question. Uh, we are already planning it as we as we speak. So we have our legendary ECSC instructors, and it's me and Matt collaborating with product team. We have Stu, we have entire marketing and product guys, and we always try to plan for the ECSE to be up to date. And now we will start with ECSE uh, design. We also have some secrets about the ECSE that I'm not sure if we can reveal them, but more ECSE is coming, okay? We will have more courses that are awesome and a little bit shorter and might be a little bit more approachable. It's coming, it's coming, including AI Pro Online. Brilliant. Well, I think everyone is very excited and we've answered lots of great questions and we are just so proud and very happy to have brought you this amazing webinar today on Echohow AI Pro Online. I think we will save answering more questions and show you some amazing stuff on the next webinar. So for now, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody for joining us, everybody on the webinar from Echohow side. And we will look forward to seeing you at these live in-person events, or we'll see you on the next Echo How webinar. I'm looking yeah, forward to- We love you all, guys. We all love you from the bottom of our hearts. And I can't believe it, but we are traveling separately with Matthew this time uh, to Las Vegas. Matthew goes to Cisco Live. I go to, to HPE events two weeks later. So come over to see us at our booth and let's have some beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.